Hi everyone, thank you so much for watching. As you all know, the holiday season is upon us, and even though we had just finished celebrating Christmas, it's already time for New Year's Eve. New Year's Eve is one of my favorite holidays, so I decided to go all out with my makeup and even add some glitter. So, if you want to know how I got this dramatic golden cut crease New Year's Eve inspired makeup look, please keep watching. Because I'm going to be doing a dramatic look, I'll be starting out with my eyes and to do that, I'll be applying this LA Girl Pro Conceal Concealer in the color Porcelain all over my eyelids as an eyeshadow primer. I'm going to be creating a cut crease, so to do that I'll be picking up this black eyeshadow colour and a thin eyeliner brush and I'm going to be drawing the crease into my eye. It really helps to look close in a mirror while you're doing this. Because I'll be cleaning up with concealer later, this line doesn't have to be perfect. However, the shape of both lines have to be the same, that way your eyes will be the same once you're done. Next, I'm going to be picking up a bit of black with this dome shaped brush and I'll be blending that line up. Next I'll be picking up this dark purple colour with the same brush and I'll be blending it in the same area. Next I'm picking up this slightly lighter purple colour with a small blending brush and I'll be blending it along the edges to make sure there aren't any harsh lines. Using something with a flat edge like my concealer, I'm going to be using the same small blending brush and the dark purple colour and I'll be using that to create the cat eye. Again, I'm using the lighter purple colour just to smooth out the edges. Now to clean up with concealer. I'm going to be using this LA Girl Pro Conceal Concealer again and I'll be using this flat concealer brush. And what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be squirting some of this onto the back of my hand and I'm going to be put, picking it up with this brush and I'll just be following the line of the crease I want just on the edge to make sure there's a clean straight line before I go in with any glitter. For this part it helps to look down in a mirror so that you can see exactly where your crease is. If you want your eyes to look bigger, you can definitely draw your crease higher than your actual crease. So by doing that, it will create the effect that your eyes are more open and bigger. For the glitter, I'll be using the same shape brush and I'll be applying this gold cosmetic glitter with it. I'll be using this Ushas Cosmetics setting spray to help the glitter stick to my eyelids. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to spray the setting spray on my eyeshadow palette and I'm going to be dipping my brush into the setting spray before dipping it into the gold and then I'll be applying it all over my eyelids. Again, it helps to look down in a mirror while you're doing this part.
Next, I'll be using this black liquid eyeliner pen by The Body Shop and I'll be drawing a dramatic wing. I know a lot of people say that when you're doing a cut crease with glitter or anything with glitter, you should do the eyeliner before the glitter, but I don't like doing it that way because then I find there's always a gap between my eyeliner and the glitter, so I prefer going in with the eyeliner afterwards and that way I just brush away some of the glitter. Yes, it is a little bit more of a process than usual, but I find it works better because there isn't a gap once I'm done. I'm done with my eyes for now, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to be using a fluffy brush and I'll just be brushing away any fallout on my face. Next I'll be applying this Usha's Cosmetics HD Primer and I'll just be using my fingers to rub it in all over my face. For foundation, I'll be using this LA Girl one in the color Porcelain and I'll be applying it all over my face with my damp beauty blender. I'm adding a second pump for fuller coverage. Next I'll be going in with my concealer and I'll be applying it underneath my eyes. Again, I'm using my beauty blender to blend everything out. I'll be using this Kylie Born to Glow liquid highlighter and I'll be applying it on the high points of my face. I'll be using this white powder to set underneath my eyes and everywhere else I applied concealer. I'll be using this matte Palladio bronzer and my blending brush to bronze up my face a bit. As you can see, this is a very chalky bronzer that doesn't blend as far as I would like it to. So what I do is I apply it with a blending brush in all my contour areas and then I take a fluffier brush and I blend it out until I'm happy with what it looks like. Because the bronzer came out a lot darker than I had hoped for, I'm going to be using this LA Girl face powder in the color Nude Beige. And I'll just be using a fluffy face brush and going over the areas where the contour is too dark, just to settle it a little bit. Next up is blush. I'll be applying this purple toned blush from my Beauty Treats palette and I'll simply be applying it on my cheeks. For my eyebrows, I'll be using an eyeliner brush and some brown eyeshadow and I'll simply be filling them in a bit. With that same brush and some dark brown eyeshadow, I'll be contouring my nose a little bit.
Back to my eyes, I'll be using the same dome shaped brush as before and I'll be picking up that dark purple that I used. I'll then be applying the colour underneath my lower lash line. With a flatter brush, I'll be picking up some black eyeshadow and I'll be blending it closer to my lower lash line to create the same type of gradient I did on the top of my eye. I'll be using this black Colossal Cajol eyeliner and I'll be lining my waterline. I'm picking up this gold shade highlighter and I'll be applying it in my tear ducts and underneath my brows. I did mix it a bit with a white coloured highlighter just to make it pop more. Now to finally finish off my eyes, I'll be going in with some mascara. For lipstick, I'll be using this liquid matte lipstick by Huda Beauty in the colour Bombshell and I'll be applying it all over my lips. Purple lipstick definitely works better with this look, but since I didn't have any, I kind of had to make my own. So what I did is, I took some purple eyeshadow with my finger and I applied it over the pink lipstick that I applied first. If you're struggling with the eyeshadow to show, feel free to pick up some setting spray that will help you with the eyeshadow. And just to get the eyeshadow all the way on the edges of my lips, I did pick up an eyeshadow brush just to make sure it looks perfect. And to finish off, I'll be using setting spray. And this is the final result. I really hope you enjoyed this makeup tutorial and a happy new year to all of you. Thank you. Bye bye.